Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, I got you. You got me. Yeah. You can hear me. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey everyone, how's it going? We got a uh, brain bender, silly All girl. Right. Hey, silly girl. Hey. I've been seeing you in the comments. Appreciate you. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just roll into our topic of choice. So we love our cell phones, and I think everyone else can agree that they do too. Um, I think cell phone addiction is kind of an issue right now in our culture. Yeah, it's a big issue. <laughs> so we were looking at our screen time, and that's something we always are comparing, like what is our screen time? And this for this conversation, we decided to actually look at our apps, like what are our actual favorite apps versus which apps are we actually using the most and how much time are we actually spending on those individual ones and so we're just going to talk about what our apps are that we're using the most of what our favorite ones are and we'd love for everyone to comment and chime in and let us know what their favorites are and what they spend the most time on so, so i guess we'll go with me first yeah we'll go you first we're okay gonna... so i wrote down my favorites before I checked to see how much time I'm spending on any. I was kind of surprised. No, I'm gonna run this All right, so my favorites are Pinterest, Spotify, Picture This, Instagram, and Canva. So, of course, Pinterest, because it's so multi-functioning, it's so multi-use, whether you're looking for recipes or DIY project instructions, Homeschool principles, you're looking for something, you can find it on Pinterest. It is awesome. But also, it is such a great pastime because of the beautiful pictures and the videos and all that. It's just so much fun. Um, yeah, and I, I like Pinterest for wood project ideas. Yeah. That's about it for me. Other than that, it's a girl app. <laughs> yeah, Spotify is goaded. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Spotify is the goat. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so then the next one. Number two for me was Spotify. I love podcasts, but I also love music. Um, I was listening to Imagine Dragons all day today. I'm serious. Their music is so unique. And those songs, oh, they hit you right there. Um, I absolutely love it. So Spotify yeah. was nice. I like Lewis, Lewis Capaldi. Lewis Capaldi? Yeah. He's yeah. that really country, country, country singer. Is that depressed? You said he was oh, depressing. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not the country singer. It's that depressed dude. Yeah. Okay, with the Tourette's. I said he's motivational. She said he was depressing. He was depressing. <laughs> it was depressing, y'all. Okay. Then, uh, so. Peak quality says. Uh, what is my favorite Imagine Dragons song? Oh, my goodness. Younger or Symphony? are the two that I'm just, I can play and listen to a thousand times over. All right. Um, the Silly Girl says mine too. Oh yeah. Those are so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then my third one is Picture This. It's an app that you can take a picture of a plant and it'll tell you its name, where it's from, if you can eat it, <laughs> all the information about that plant. I am obsessed with it. As we rolled into spring, I've been going outside because we live in Mississippi. Uh, out in the country, like the nearest town is like, well, a very small town nearby is like 20 minutes. And then our bigger towns are all about 40 minutes away from us. So um, we're out in the country. And so I love walking around our, our yard and taking pictures of plants and figuring out like, what the heck is that weed? And it's really cool because you'll learn that most of it is edible. Uh, and the Native Americans actually would eat a lot of it and use a lot of it for medicines. So it's a, it's a, I've had a lot of fun with that one, too. Yeah, she is literally out in the yard, laying out there, taking pictures of something constantly. Every time we go out to garden. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then number four for me, as far as my favorites go, is Instagram. Uh, it's self-explanatory. The reels are addicting. The stories just, like, it's so fun to make a story of your day and just show people, like, what your real life is like. And then, of course, you make your seasonal posts for your holidays so to let people know you're still alive and show people just you know how much money you spent on outfits that week <laughs> you know like those you know those fake pictures like everybody's smiling it's just like yeah this is not normal <laughs> peak quality says you can find some good mushrooms in the wild 
Yeah, I know some mushroom hunters. Yeah, Aaron's dad, um, Quint, he loves mushroom hunting. Um, he's done a lot of research on it. He's got a lot of gear, and he, he really enjoys it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I've never gotten into mushroom hunting, but yeah. I can see why someone would. Yeah. If you're just hopping on, we're discussing our favorite apps versus the apps that we use the most. And I'm going through my favorites right now. Uh, so number five, my most favorite is Canva. You can use Canva to make basically anything graphic wise and print it out at home or order it. And I use it a lot for a thousand different reasons. Um, I get the uh, teacher version because I'm a homeschool mom. And if you have a teacher ID, you can get a free uh, upgraded version. Um, it's still free. It's not the actual pro it's version it's yeah. kind of like in the middle ground you still have a lot more that you can do for free but you know so uh silly girl says i love instagram mm -hmm. yeah who doesn't love instagram you know i prefer youtube over instagram you prefer youtube to instagram i don't know what, like what i'm partial to youtube and then peak quality says you have to be really careful, though. Yeah, if you get a, what's the poison? An Amanita. Amanita. Amanita is a poison. You know, there's one Amanita you can't eat, but. It's not worth the risk, It's though. so risky. If you don't absolutely know what you're doing, it, it'd be foolish to be messing with them. Yeah. Because uh, they will kill you. Uh, silly Girl says, I eat mushrooms. Well, what kind of mushrooms do you eat? Yeah. Just the standard. Portobello? Yeah, portobello. Or do yeah. You, you try all the stuff you pick. All right. Then, uh. Peak quality says Canva is so useful, great and useful. I have actually recently started using Canva for video editing. It is actually really cool for that. All right. So now let's roll into what I actually spend the most time on. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I got as a fancy slide, yo. All right. So my most used are Facebook, Instagram, Marco Polo, Messages, and Canva. Okay. So, hey, so it is, uh, does it sound good, y'all? Everybody hear us well? Is it clear? Peak, is the sound good? I think it is. I think nobody said nothing. But yeah, I'm sure. And they're replying, so obviously yeah. it's all right. We had a little oopsie with the sound. Yeah, right as we were going live, it was. <laughs> yeah, we were fiddling with it now, so we got it. All right. So if you're just now coming on, we are discussing our favorite apps versus our most used apps. All right, so my most used apps, the apps I spend the most time on, are first Facebook. That's the number one. And that's a no-brainer because not only am I on there trying to get updated on all my friends' lives and update other people on my life, but also we have a few small businesses, and I run those pages as well. Um, and then we are also over our homeschooling group's Facebook page. So I stay really busy on Facebook. I kind of figured it would be at the top of the list um, for the amount of time I'm spending on them, but it is not my favorite. All right. And then let's see. I use Instagram and YouTube. And TikTok. And TikTok. See, we are so, like, we're so behind on the TikTok thing. Yeah. Like, like we have a TikTok account, but I primarily focus on YouTube because yeah. I don't really like TikTok too much. I didn't get into it that much either. Yeah, it's an all right app. I mean, it, it, maybe it's because we're like millennials. You know, uh, do millennials do millennials use TikTok? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I think Instagram millennials are more Instagram, really. I think we are. Yeah, and then like our parents' generation is more like addicted to Facebook. Uh, see, we got a several new people in here so yeah we're going over our favorite apps and our most used apps y'all we're good ways through vanessa's list here all right so number two is instagram because there's freaking reels i'm addicted to the reels on instagram i can scroll for hours <sighs> it's not good but um i do love instagram all right instagram has better shorts and easier sharing youtube is Goated in the sauce and TikTok sucks. Wow. Pink, you feel strongly about this. Um, <laughs> Pink does not like TikTok. He doesn't apparently. like TikTok apparently. Yeah, see, I'm still not into YouTube though. I'm doing this uh, to love my husband. She enjoys it. She's trying to admit it. <laughs> All right, number three is Marco Polo. 
So Marco Polo is essentially a video walkie talkie on your cell phone. You can send a video message to your friend or family member and it'll just sit there and it'll notify them that it's there and then they can watch it and reply with their own video message whenever they have time or are ready to reply and you can just send messages back and forth this works way better for parents because if you need to set the phone down it's not like a facetime call where you have to completely end the conversation you just may take a few seconds and then take the phone back up and send the message um it's we love it and it also is really good for people with social anxiety like myself so everyone knows the experience where you're texting someone and they reply back, okay, just an O and a K. And you're sitting there going, well, are they mad? <laughs> With Marco Polo. Or are they just saying okay? Yeah, are they just saying okay? <laughs> With Marco Polo, you actually can see their face, hear their tone, and you know that they're saying okay, or if they're saying okay, you know. Yeah, so if anybody hasn't tried Marco Polo, you ought to try it. Uh, and it's kind of a, it's one of the maps that hadn't just taken off crazy yet I mean, yeah it hasn't really blown up but yeah. I, I really love it yeah it's um, a good app and uh, as silly girl says i use a lot on message i message i guess yeah. and facetime yeah yeah facetime's good especially if you need to show somebody something right then grocery yeah, shopping yeah like instantly yeah. Like if, you're, if you need an immediate response yeah. it's really good yeah, it works good all right so quality uses whatsapp WhatsApp. See, I can't get into WhatsApp. I haven't really, I've got it, but compared to all the other ones, I just haven't really One thing WhatsApp does, it. if you're sending video, it, uh, it keeps your resolution higher on the sand than just texting somehow. So it does. And another thing I learned about it whenever I was taking uh, social media management classes is that WhatsApp messages are always individually encrypted so that it's safer for conversations. Uh, so if you're messaging someone internationally, it's a better option. Yeah. Right. All right, so number four for me is Chrome. I Google everything. I don't believe in answering anything. I don't know. I don't believe in saying it. We have way too much access to information for I don't know to be an answer. <laughs> so I don't say it. I will Google it and I will get you an answer um, if I don't already have an opinion as it is. I'm a very opinionated person. <laughs> she, she pretty much has already researched everything. I, I research a lot. Um, <laughs> and, and number five was Spotify, which is very interesting. Uh, Instagram and Spotify were the only two of my favorites lists that I actually spend that much time on. And that's kind of sad. It makes me go like, well, dang, um, I'm not actually doing what I'm enjoying. What I enjoy, but I'm still spending six to seven hours on my phone each day. Yeah. So, uh, silly girl says she uses WhatsApp too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good I haven't heard anything about Facebook in any of this. Anybody use Facebook? I don't know. Facebook is, it's our, it's the older generation that is sticking with the Facebook. The See, younger generations are moving on to other apps. I, I would tend, well, I used to what I tended to use Facebook. I don't really use it no more though. Yeah. yeah so. All right, Aaron, your turn. Let's talk about your list. Oh boy. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this fancy slide here. So YouTube, Flappy Duck, ESPN, Bob Watt, and Netflix. Uh, those are my, uh, favorites. YouTube's by far my favorite. It's just, it's an awesome scroller. You can get good info, long form, short form. I like all that. Yeah. If you're just now uh, joining us, we're talking about our favorite apps versus the apps we actually spend the most time on. We'd love you to chime in with your favorite apps or go into your settings and see what apps are you actually wasting the most time on. We've just went through my list. So if you did, if you missed that, go back and watch the replay. We're on Aaron's list now. Yeah. So silly girl says she uses Facebook sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. And, uh, my second i put down as my second most favorite app is a game called flappy dunk that's where you tap the screen and uh the little basketball hops through the hoop and you swish it you get more points you swish it again it triples and it just keeps going up it's a childish game but i enjoy it it's a good waste of time sometimes yeah what is everyone's favorite uh phone games I don't get into them. I, yeah. I I would rather be reading something, researching something, maybe listening to something. I don't like phone games. 
I haven't really had a phone game since the big Candy Crush craze all those years ago. You know, that game kind of like Candy Crush that I like was uh, Best Fiends. To me, it was a better game. You know? Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. If I'm going to play a Candy Crush style game. Yeah. Uh, Silly Girl says, I love Netflix. We have Netflix. Okay, so we went without Netflix for a few years because way back when we first got married, we had it. And it sucked. They didn't have anything. They weren't having any of the newer movies. They didn't have any decent TV shows. I think all they had at that point was Friends, and we're not big Friends fans either. No, so, Office, Office. Yeah, we, we love office. the Office. So we're big. We like the streaming service Peacock. That's our favorite. Yeah. Um, but we just got Netflix back so that we could watch Bridgerton um, and Queen Charlotte. So. Loving that. So silly Girl says, I play Stumble Guys. You should try it. It's really fun to play with friends and family. We'll have to Stumble look that up. Guy. That's not one I'm familiar with at all. I've never heard of that one. So, yeah, we'll look into that. Okay, we'll yeah. In, uh, Pete, or I'll look into that. You probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then uh, Pete Quality. I don't really play mobile games. I play console. It's far superior. Okay, snob. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, Pete. It, it, I mean, it is better um, and enjoyable to play on a console because you have a bigger screen, you're more comfortable, yada, yada. But yeah. not everybody can have a gaming console, let's be honest. All right, what's next? Number three on your favorites. Uh, the ESPN app. I always want to know what the score is of something or breaking news. Who signed who? But, uh, yeah, go Packers all day long. So. I've actually been contemplating getting the ESPN app this uh, this year so that I can actually keep up with the information because he comes in from home from work comes home and he wants to tell me all the news and sometimes I have a hard time keeping up with who the players are on uh, what teams and trying to fully understand what he's telling me I want to because I I hate being the dumb person in the conversation. So I think I'm going to get the ESPN app just so I can. And you know what you're talking about? You research everything. I would yeah. say up to this point, sports is probably where you, I probably got you. Sports big. is probably the thing that I have the least amount of knowledge yeah. on. So we've got uh, 12 people here now. We uh, we are uh, going over our favorite apps. and then Versus. Our actual, versus are actually our most used apps. Yeah. So what are we actually so, doing on our phones? Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Pete Quality, he says the Titans are far superior. Yeah, if they were playing golf, maybe they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. Alexa. We need to go to a Titans game. Says hi. Hey. hey Thank you for joining us. Uh, comment with your favorite apps and then go to your settings and see which apps you actually spend the most time on. Silly girl says hi, Alexa. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Next on my list of uh, favorites, uh, number four, I put the Bible app. I enjoy uh, being able to read it on the go or whatever it's I need. It's Corey in the house. Hey, it is Corey. <laughs> Corey, you have made a live, man. How's it going? Good to see you or, or see your comment. <laughs> we are uh, going over our most used apps. Versus our favorite apps. Uh, we've gone through Vanessa's and we're now going through mine. Yeah, and we want everyone to comment in what your favorite apps are versus what are the apps that you spend the most time on. Because for me on my list, y'all can go watch the replay and go through my list. I was shocked to see that I basically spend no time on my favorite apps. Um, but probably spend the most time on my, the apps I hate the most. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, Aaron, you were on uh, number four of your favorites. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did that, the Bible app. And then, uh, yeah. Which, the Bible app is very interesting. Like, I kind of feel convicted that the Bible app wasn't on my list. Yeah. <laughs> but I do prefer the actual book versus yeah. the well, app. Yeah, I prefer to read the Bible on, like, physical. I like any book to actually hold it. Reading on your phone is not, not as good to me. But, yeah. hey, sometimes it's more handy. Uh, Pete says, Corey, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, Alexa, our, uh, our day has been good. Uh, yeah, we're doing well. Uh, Corey says, over 3,000 subscribers. Yes, yes, Corey, thank you. Uh, we're, we're doing working, it. Working hard. Um, and K 
Tara Carter. You, you are, are so, pretty. so pretty. I'm assuming you're talking Thank about you. her for sure. Thank you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I try. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So my fifth, uh, yeah, fifth. favorite app is uh, Netflix. Netflix. Um, yep. So, so there I, you go, I've been general. enjoying Netflix lately. So since we've been watching Bridgerton. Yeah. Um, all all right. right. So now let's go to your most used apps, which okay. very funny. Both of us, our lists are very different. Well, actually, mine is very different. Yours is not that different. You got, let's see, here's my favorites. Or my most used. These are my most used. Yeah. It's very All right. similar. Yeah. So my actual most used is, is YouTube, which is the same as my number one favorite. Yeah. Uh, doesn't surprise me at all. Then uh, YouTube Studio. I probably shouldn't get on that so much, but when you're doing YouTube, you end up on it a lot. He checks his YouTube statistics every yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, put it down. <laughs> the numbers are not going to go up instantaneously. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what comment we got. Let's see if we got any more comments. Your wife's, uh, your wife's smile makes me happy. Yeah, it's it genuine. Yeah. It's a genuine smile. Makes me happy too. <laughs> if your wife's smiling, you're happy. If your wife is not smiling, you better figure out what you did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Corey says my favorite app would probably be the YouTube app as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, Corey, you said you don't uh, you don't do any social media other than YouTube, do you? You don't even touch Facebook or Instagram, if I remember right. Alexa Aquila says, "I love you guys." Thank you. We love you guys because y'all are actually making this goal and this dream come true, and we really appreciate all the support. It it really means a lot to us. We didn't know if when we got on here we would have zero subscribers. No one would like any of our videos and we'd just be in the background, never growing or anything. We, we were worried that that would be the way it was, but then we kind of realized, well, we hadn't lost anything really, um, if that's the case. Uh, but it, it's, it's blown up. It's gone incredible. I mean, I know our top video right now is the Row, Row Your Boat song, which is hysterical to me. I did not expect that to go viral. Um, but but it's there yeah she she had somebody teach her that version of that song as like a child okay so you know how when you're growing up most likely you had an older woman in your life that was super nice to you when you were a kid like is either your grandmother an aunt or a lady at church or a lady just in the community you know this lady was a little bit heavier and she had curly hair and she was so so kind to me so sweet so intentional but one of the funniest things was she would teach me these funny little old songs. And that was when she taught me. And apparently the whole world loves it. I actually sent it to her first when we posted it. I hope she realizes just how far this has gone. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, Tara Carter says your house is so beautiful. Thank you. Um, I do what I can. I, I really enjoy interior design and I have the very... Uh, distinct style. Um, I try to do the opposite of what is normal. So while the entire world was going neutral everything, I was going color! Bring on the color! So of course I went with this gorgeous blue in the living room and it is my favorite color of all time. I will probably put it everywhere. Okay. <laughs> that is correct. Is your kids having a good day? Yes, the kids are having a good day. They're actually uh, sitting over here beside us. Yeah, they're chilling out over there. By some miracle, they're being quiet, but that may end at some point. And it'll be okay if they do. <laughs> it'll be okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm so excited that Corey says, I'm so excited to see you guys live. Yes. I knew you guys would be great doing lives. Well, Corey, we're, we're doing them. We'll see how great we are. <laughs> I did a lot of lives uh, several years ago when I was part of an MLM. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> but I did a lot of lives. Stay I got away from MLMs. They, they don't work. MLMs or MLMs? MLMs. MLMs will put you in trouble, too. 
<laughs> but um, I was a part of MLM, so I did a lot of lives back then. I got really comfortable doing them, so this hasn't been too bad. He's been the one that's been nervous this whole time. Yeah, makes me nervous going live because I'm I'm not a talker like she is. She can really, I mean, she can chat, chat, chat. But, <laughs> and then you, I uh, got a... Oh, Corey says, never hire a cleaner named Dusty. Good idea. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a very good point. <laughs> Uh, peak Quality's top five are Instagram, YouTube, Chrome, Spotify, and COD. Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's that's, not, that's pretty fun. That's not I didn't know you play uh, Call of Duty that much, Peak. All right. Alexa says, do you have a dog? We do have yeah, a dog. Yeah, you want it? <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Her name is Pepper. And like black pepper, she's a black lab, uh, German shepherd mix. And we have we had her since she was born and she is yeah. precious. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's see, what was my name? Okay, my next as far as the number three on the top apps used is Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. So, yeah. And we've already talked about that, that's a good app. Yes. Yeah, streaming service. All right. Number four. Number four is actually used is Flappy Dunk, which is the game you tap the screen, the basketball goes through the hoop. How it's, much time are you actually spending on that app? I don't know, apparently too much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look that long. I, I, I'm kind of surprised it's in my top four, but it is. And then my number five most used is Spotify. Yeah. Which if you're streaming music, streaming podcasts, uh, that's the way to go. And you know they have audiobooks now too. Yeah, they do have audiobooks. I haven't tried it, but you know, they have it. All Maybe right. They, so that is, yeah, that's our list. Uh, y'all got any more apps that uh, you like? Or what's y'all's top used apps? Let's see. We got uh, Brain Bender. I understand. Yeah. What did Corey say? How do you like doing the vertical live stream? On StreamYard, honestly, it's really good. Um, it rotates through the shorts, and so we pick up a lot of traffic that way. Yeah, that's why we're doing vertical. Is you you can pick up more. If you go horizontal, it it's a little different, but it's working well. It's working well. Let's see. All right, bye, silly girl. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining, silly girl. Well, uh, we've appreciated you in the comments. I've seen you commenting on a lot of videos. Thank you. Pepper's a pretty name. Yes. It's from Pepper Potts, which, as you know, is the female character in Iron Man. I think she's awesome. All right. Love your sweater. Yes. Thank you. I do, too. It's actually a crop, but, you know, that's all right. I'm short. I'll make it work. Corey's coming. What's Corey saying? Have you seen the movie Tractor? I just saw the trailer. It looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you come up with all of this. Like your <laughs> jokes are unending, but they're all really good. Oh my goodness, you are really good at it. Yeah. All right. All your right. number six is Audible. Okay. Audible. See, I did Audible for a little while, and then I kind of got bur got burned out on it and went back to music. So. So, what kind of books do you like? What, what's What's your genre? Let's see. It's. It's your favorite genius. It's your favorite, favorite Regina. Regina. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Or... We're talking about apps. Our favorite apps versus the apps we actually spend our time on. You can go back and watch the replay if you want to see our list of apps that we actually love versus what we actually use. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny. Mine were entirely opposite. I have been spending so much time on apps I really don't like, but the the apps that I love. I spend no time on, so that's kind of interesting. But his were basically the same. His favorite apps are the apps he actually uses. <laughs> the story of motherhood, right? That's right. That's right. It's <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rainbender says, top apps I use is uh, YouTube, Canva, and CapCut. Yes. I like CapCut, too. At first, yes. I first pulled up CapCut. Cap Cut, um, I hated it. Yeah, she was used to the Instagram editor. And Instagram and editor a and the Canva editor, both of those are very different than CapCut. Yeah. But now that I've gotten used to it, I, I do appreciate it. It does have a lot of well, CapCut for being free offers a lot of good features. Yeah, it's I agree. real handy. 
The Huskies. Who like murder mystery chances. Okay. Hi, great to have you guys. We're discussing apps, the ones we love versus the ones we actually end up using. All right. So yeah, thank you for uh, being a part of our channel, for watching, liking. Thank you. Kara says Spotify, YouTube, musical notes. Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. I think a lot of people use Spotify. And yeah, Corey, we do. We've got 17 watching. So, yeah. It's awesome. I have a question for those who are on. Do Does anyone use Pandora? Do y'all remember that music app, Pandora? It, it's still around. When I was like really young and just getting devices and just starting to use musical apps, Pandora was a big deal. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's actually the streaming app I started with, and uh, I liked it better in Spotify when I started because you uh, you couldn't with Spotify it didn't do radio stations like Pandora did. Pandora you put it on a genre, a person, it just played. You could discover new songs back in the day. Spotify you still had to click which song uh, you wanted, yeah. and back then I just wanted to discover new songs. So, but over time, Spotify, in my opinion, become way better. Yeah, Spotify. Who here, yeah, who here has used Pandora? Any of y'all use it still? I like Discord and eBay. You know, I used to have an eBay business. I had an eBay business for years. Um, I made a profit, so I did okay. It's just it wasn't worth the time, especially with having three kids. You know, it's like I'd rather be spending time doing something else. It wasn't enough. Is or says, what about Piper is pretty? Oh, she said, what about Pepper is pretty? The name. Because she said the name Pepper was pretty. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Nice house. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Great job. Yeah, yeah, great job. Thank you, Brain Bender. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Yes. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed your live stream you did. Uh, was it about a week ago? It was uh, Saturday night, I believe. Yeah, yeah, you did a phenomenal job. You did a really good job. Uh, we actually put it on our big screen TV and both yeah, sat there and watched it. You can see back here in the background. Yeah, you see our yeah. big TV. Um, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was Aaron. Aaron's birthday is in the same month as our anniversary. So I put the two together and I got him this massive TV. Um, and he was very pleased. That was a great gift. And I've enjoyed it too. <laughs> I think the whole family is obsessed with it now. But yeah, so we put it up there on the uh, TV and we just sat and watched it while having sex. So it was great. So where's everybody from in here? Just curious where everybody's from. We're we're in Mississippi. So yeah, we're rednecks. Or I'm a redneck. That mom is short too. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm a midget. I'm Let's very see. short. Corey says Netflix joke for you. Ha ha. Hi, BBB. That mom is short too. Yep. Sci fi and fantasy. I like fiction. I can't read it once you click on it. Yeah. I like fiction and autobiographies. That's pretty cool. Okay. okay. Girl, fourth wing. Have you read it? Have you listened to it? I'm obsessed. The third book is coming out next January, and I am going to be a mess until then. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, we got Alexa. Do your kids have phones? Uh, no. Not yet. No. They're a little young for that. No, and we we're, we've discussed back and forth like how to handle the cell phone thing because I think it's a it's an important topic, and I think it's something to take very seriously. Yeah. You, um, you give a little kid a phone, you uh. Man, they can get into a lot of stuff. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of mess out there. Right now, they're just safe, yeah, and oblivious, and that's innocence is bliss, and that's the way we like it. Um, let's yeah, see. hit the like button, you guys. Thank you, Corey. Yes, if you hit the like on this, it'd be great. Appreciate it. If you enjoy this, subscribe. If you're not, we we do a lot of uh, short comedy stuff. Uh, Family vlog. Yeah, we're just kind of a vlog channel. We do a little bit of everything. So yeah. Uh, my stepmom is short too. Yeah. Yeah. And you got brain bender. It's hard in the beginning for sure. See, it wasn't that hard for me, but I'm a talker, and I mean, I could I could have a news 
station myself. Like I could host the news. Yeah, I, I she, love. Yeah, she's been going trained. live on Instagram, Facebook for years. So yeah. this is this is her cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of my dreams to have a radio show, and so we'll see if that ever happens down the road. All right, Alexa Quill says yes. Regine, I'm so sorry about your dog. Yeah, sorry I, about that. Yeah, that is awful. I have unfortunately lost a lot of dogs over my, throughout my life, and some just hit hard. Some hit way harder than others. Um, yeah, so I, I get that that disappointment and just that pain. It's, yeah, we. I I grew up with a dachshund, a black and brown dachshund. And we had him my whole older years growing mm -hmm. up. Man, I hate it when he finally died. But. Yeah, see, I grew up with a chihuahua. I had her for nine years, and I that was my baby. Um, and she passed away when I was like 16. And so I had my whole childhood with that chihuahua. Um, I, I've always said I will get a chihuahua again one day. And I think I will, eventually. Corey says, never use Pandora. I probably wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's a little outdated, I think. <laughs> I think in now it's either Spotify or Apple Music is pretty much what a lot of people use. Yeah, I think so too. And if you're just doing podcasts now, if you got YouTube Premium, you don't even have you don't even have ads, and you got the video, so you can do YouTube or podcasts on a lot of shows. That's true. Yeah, uh, Brain Bender. Oh, thank you. I felt like a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't tell. You could not tell. You did so well. All right. Yeah. Corey says, great job, Chrissy, Brain Bender, Northern California. Cool. Wow, look at you. Okay, so you're in a very different um, ecosystem, stratosphere, all, all the works, because we are down here in Mississippi, so we're on the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, what is the weather like there right now? My goodness. See, we're getting into spring, but you're if you're in North California, you're probably... Um, I mean, you're probably still pretty cold. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, here right now, the weather, one day it's hot, shorts weather, the next day it's cold, Mississippi weather. It's, it's but sad. please understand, cold for us is, you know, 50s. Yeah. That's what we're calling cold. Because yeah. in the South, cold is 50s. I mean, 40s is crazy, 30s is extreme, everyone panics. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people from up North, they're, it's just kind of like, Oh, it's negative 10 degrees. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, yeah. I would die. Yeah. And like, I would die. We're in we're in prime tornado season right now. Yes, right we here. are. Tornadoes. So, um, yeah. We're getting tornado warnings about. Do y'all have tornadoes in California? I wouldn't think you would. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I know Kansas gets some yeah. out there that way. Yeah, Alexa is you know, from Kansas. Kansas. You know, yeah. I've never been to Kansas. I flew over it once, but never been to it. I have driven to Kansas City one time in my life. Las Vegas, Nevada. Wow. Yeah. The hopping town. Man, there's a lot happening there. Yes, there is. Uh, Aaron Carter says, yes. Aaron, you're from Kentucky. His family's from Kentucky. Um, yeah, his family, his dad's family was in Kentucky, and then he moved down to Mississippi, met Aaron's mom, and then they yeah. grew up here. So, yeah, I do have some Kentucky ties, but uh, no, I, I don't live in Kentucky. I don't think I'd move to Kentucky either. I don't uh, think so either. Yeah. Not right. compared to like, if you have options. Yeah. If I left Mississippi, I would, uh, Tennessee, Florida, one of them great. I want to go to Florida. He wants to go to Tennessee. So, yeah. you know. I like the mountains, Gallenberg. Yes. Yeah. We've taken. She's more of a beach girl. <laughs> yes. We've taken so many vacations during our marriage. We've been married for almost 10 years. And he's always like, we want. he wants to go north every single time. And I'm like. When are we ever going to go south? <laughs> we'll try to do it. So, Peak says the weather is always funky in peak quality nation. <laughs> I bet it is peak quality. <laughs> oh, hey, old well, Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah. Me. Yeah. And Brain Bender. Now everything is blooming. If they warming up, it's warming up. But still cold days. Well, that's how I would describe here, too. So that's yeah. good. Um, I don't know if you saw our live stream from a few weeks ago, but we got our garden in. So we're waiting on things to start growing. Yeah. How many kids do we have? We have three. 
Yeah, we got three three little girls. We had three kids in three years because we wanted our kids to be close in age so that they could grow up together because we both grew up with a lot of siblings and um, siblings we were very close in age to. So we had that same idea. But what shocked us is how easily that was done. <laughs> so we ended up accidentally, not accidentally, having three kids within three years. It was it was quite extreme there for a little while. But yeah. hey, we survived it. And I honestly, through that experience, can tell you I can survive anything. <laughs> Bring on Armageddon. I had three babies in three years and survived. <laughs> uh, Corey says, being from Vegas, seen it all 38 years now. Wow, yeah. that is awesome. If we were ever out that way, we'll have to hit, hit you up for some recommendations. Yeah, now, now you're from, aren't you from Wyoming originally, Corey? He says being from Vegas. Okay, maybe. Somehow I thought from some of your videos that maybe you actually were from Wyoming, but that may not be true. Uh, yes, we get tornadoes, but they aren't like yours. They are all just enough to knock trees down and launch trampolines everywhere and make a big mess. Yeah, see, ours will actually level cities. We actually just passed the one-year anniversary of a set of tornadoes that came through our area last year and took out um one full city and then half of another and so it it was a catastrophe it was really bad alexa says i also kind of want to see florida yeah i love florida see i grew up on the coast of alabama right there at gulf shores um and in fairhope for a few years as well and so Florida was just like a little skip away and I was always on the beach. So that culture, I miss it so much. Um, it was, it was really awesome to grow up in that. Yeah. What, what part of Florida would you go to if you were going to live there? Um, that's hard to say. I mean, I really like Pensacola. Yeah, that's right there near Alabama. But I also like Dolphin Island, uh, because that's that's still in Alabama, but that's still near the water. Yeah. Uh, and Brain Bender, I saw, looks like an amazing garden. Beautiful. It will be. I'm so excited. I planted sunflowers in my corn, so as they're growing up together, they'll end up being the same height, or they're supposed to be, and you'll have the sunflowers amongst all the green. It's supposed to look really pretty. I'm hopeful. Corey says, he did I grow, grew up in Wyoming. So I did get that yeah, right. Yeah, you yeah. did grow up in Wyoming. Okay. What is your favorite color? Okay, so see, I like black, gray, and navy. Those are my colors, believe it or not. And then yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, primarily hunter green. Uh, I love hunter green shirts. Uh, but Packers green. Love the Packers. Great color all the way around. <laughs> So yeah, green, hunter green. I don't, I don't want no weird greens like neon green or or mint green, anything like that. It's dark hunter green. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Alexa says you guys are amazing parents. Thank, well, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we try. We try. <laughs> they used to call. It's a me, learning process. Yeah, like used to call yes. me tall in the set in the saddle until my blister popped <laughs> oh my gosh that'll do it <laughs> that'll do it <laughs> if you get a chance to look up sunflower fields in woodland california they are stunning they are 10 minutes from me oh my goodness i have seen pictures of those uh that that would be amazing to go and like do a photo shoot there that'd be incredible see we have cotton fields around here yeah, you can do photo shoots there. Yeah, a lot of people do here in the South. They do the pictures in the cotton fields. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Then you got uh, the weird greens are the best. Weird greens, like that Seattle Seahawks green they wear sometimes. You seen that? Yeah. Bright neon, or maybe it's almost yellow. I, sure. I don't. I don't dig it. I don't dig it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Anything else? Um, say? That's all. I'm gonna Any need other to, questions? Or? Yeah, I'm going to need a roll because uh -huh. i got to get supper on the table. I, I made fried chicken today, y'all. Yeah, she's got a video coming Best up on that. 
day fried chicken I've ever had in my life. Better than the restaurants, better than going to people's houses, better than my, anything I've ever made before. Best fried chicken on the planet. And y'all, all it is is just seasoning. It's, it's all about the seasoning. So that that video will be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. So Probably be tomorrow. Be looking, yeah, be looking for that. But yeah, I, I got it this time. I got it. <laughs> that brain minute says, let me know if you ever make it out this way. I know the farmers. That would be right. amazing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. One day we're wanting to take a trip out west and just, just do a big loop, maybe maybe for like a month or something. But it'd be what's, a while still. Corey said, "What's yellow and green and smells like vinegar? The Green Bay pickles." <laughs> <laughs> Who was your uh, favorite Nintendo character? Uh, Mario. I'd say, or I like Yoshi, that little green. Yes. That, yeah. For sure. Oh, I just know I don't like the I don't like the green one. What is the is it the brother or whatever? Luigi. Luigi. I don't like Luigi. Yeah, he's just weird. I didn't like it. Uh, sounds amazing. Makes me hungry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Corey. That is comedy. I like that saying. That that I like that. That's comedy. That always cracks me up. <laughs> Kirby right. is the best. Who's Kirby? Kirby. I don't know who Kirby is. Who's Kirby? I don't, I don't even know Kirby off the top of my head. All right. I got to roll. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And stick around. Things will get more interesting. I sat down and did a content calendar for the next three months. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So we're going to be having Small Business Tuesdays. If you have a small business you'd like to recommend, you're more than welcome to send us a recommendation. Um, and then we're going to be doing... One recipe a week, just our favorite recipes, things that we really enjoy cooking. And we're going to be doing a few other things. We're going to be doing yeah. some get to know me lives um, as we go, like some lives yeah. going over different topics. Yeah, we'll, we'll at least try to do one live a week, probably maybe two. It just depends on the week. Yeah. Uh, Pete Quality says that little. The, the oh, little, little Pete got. Oh, I know who you're talking about now. Okay, that okay. makes sense. Okay, okay. Now I got you. Goodbye. Good job. Thank you. People. Yes. Corey's been a great live. He eats uh, the character. He eats the characters and gets the power. Okay, okay. I remember that now. All okay. right. I gotta get me a Nintendo something awful. Thank y'all guys. Appreciate it very much. Bye.